Welcome to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, and this is our final week of the show being presented by Barton Insurance Agency. Their agents live and work here and understand how to protect what matters to you. Barton Insurance professionals help you understand your exposures and how to limit them. They work for you, not a big insurance company. Today, we're back here as Kathy Raymond tells us about the Ledyard Bank video contest where the Lake Sunapee region, VNA, and hospice is competing for much needed funds and how you can help. We'll have our final segment of the KARS program and how you can get involved. Tanya Wilkie will provide part two of her early history of the VNA. And we'll close with our Yankee Chronicle presenter, Ben Barton of Barton Insurance Agency, telling us how to protect what matters to you, whether it be your home, your business, your brand new snowmobile, or your 16 year old teenager who just got their license. Don't go away because you won't wanna miss this week's edition of Yankee Chronicle. We'll be right back. At HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, we sell, install, tune, and repair heating and cooling systems and deliver your fuel oil and propane. But we're much more. With more frequent major weather events, don't say again, I should have installed a generator. HR Clough provides the best home generator systems available from Generac. Our highly trained personnel provide you a complete turnkey installation. For a free estimate, call the HR Clough company today. Over four generations of local ownership and dependable service. There's a big difference between a big box store and a LaValle Middleton building supply. When you're a local store, you need to compete with the bigger chains. So we've combined our purchasing power with over 300 independent lumberyard and home centers, and we've passed those savings on to you. Our customers have grown up with our stores, and now their kids are shopping here with our kids. We have everything you need for any home improvement project you can think of. And the possibilities are endless. If we had a motto, it would be neighbors helping neighbors build a community. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm Abby Peel, your host. Ledyard Bank is providing funds to local nonprofit organizations via a very unique device. Let's hear from Kathy Raymond of the Lake Sunapee region, VNA, and Hospice on how you can assist them in getting their fair share. Hi, Kathy. Thank you, Abby. It's great to be here and tell you about the Ledyard Video Contest. So Ledyard Bank is celebrating its 30th anniversary as a bank, um, and they approached 10 nonprofits spanning their very vast service area to be part of their video contest. So first, I want to thank Ledyard, because to be selected as one of the nonprofits to participate in this is such a great opportunity and we're very, very thankful to be the Lake Sunapee region nonprofit that they reached out to. So basically, the only thing we had to do is create a video and the focus of the video is what community means to our organization. So that's sort of the whole focus of the contest. So we produced a video talking about just that and the idea is that community members, there's 10 videos, there's 10 nonprofits featured, and we hope people will go watch them all if you want, and certainly watch the Lake Sunapee Region VNA and Hospice video, and like it. That's how you vote. You have to have a Facebook account, and you, um, you vote for the video you like. You can vote for more than one video, but you can only cast one vote. One vote per video, but you can vote for more than one video. And the, and the, the organization that gets the most likes or votes um, gets a $10,000 contribution from Ledyard Bank. The great thing is every organization participating gets a gift of some size, minimum $1,000. So that's really important because we rely on fundraising for many, many things as a nonprofit. But I will say in today's world, staffing is our biggest challenge. In order to get staff and to keep them, we have to devote way more resources to um, compensation, to benefits, to programs for staff. And so we're spending a lot more money and fundraising, that's one of the very important things that charitable donations helps us do more of. Fundraising part of it's really important, but I will also add that the the opportunity to talk about our agency, to educate the community about what we do is equally important. And we're very thankful for Ledyard to giving us this opportunity. 
We'll do a lot of marketing, and so will Ledyard, and we're hoping a lot of people learn uh, whether they vote for our video or not. We hope they do, but they'll learn more about not only us, but a lot of other nonprofits in the area. So it's a great win-win all the way around. So let's take a look at our video. Community is a feeling of belonging. It is shared interests, needs, and goals. It is the place you live, the place you love. Community is also one of four core values that guide us in our work every day. For us, community also means the power of human connection, the people we care for, our generous supporters, our compassionate staff. Without the community, the VNA would not be here today. You know, we felt very close to the VNA over the years because of the help that we've received, and we've seen lots of other people yeah. that have had similar help. I am so comfortable in my own home, and the VNA makes that possible. I could not do it without them. I went home in the care of the VNA, and I met. Uh, a group of women that I'll never forget. You know, I would like to um, just say to the community, um, everyone out there, thank you for your support. And it was just a, a lot easier. And as I say, I think I healed faster because I was home. All of them were, in a way, just the most therapeutic and totally understanding people I think I've ever met. You are the community members that has made the VNA what it is today. I love them all. Wherever you call home, wherever you are in need for our services, we care where you are. As president and CEO of Lake Sunapee Region VNA and Hospice, I couldn't be more proud of our amazing team or more grateful for a caring community that believes in what we do. Thank you. So now that you've seen the video, just simply go to ledyardbank.com. It'll pop right up on their homepage. You click on the contest and you and you go from there and you watch the videos and you vote and that's all you need to do. Keep in mind that voting ends end of day October 22nd. So we have some time but that's how much time you have to go in and, and cast your votes. So thank you for supporting us. Thank you Kathy and thank you to Ledyard Bank for your unique and generous donations to local nonprofits in the area. When we return, we'll hear from the Kearsarge Neighborhood Partners and the Kearsarge Regional Ecumenical Ministries and how they've joined forces to drive a new resource in our area. Please stay with us. Simple solutions in a challenging world. Let Echo Communications make your life simpler. From the beginning, creating design through the commercial print process and ending with custom mailing, all easily coordinated in one place. Echo Communications provides simple solutions in a challenging world. One place, many solutions. Learn more at echocominc.com. Warner's Main Street Bookends has been your community bookstore since 1998 and voted Yankee Magazine's Editor's Pick Must See Bookstore. Bookends is a full service store offering a huge selection of current fiction and nonfiction with children's book selection, toys, and games. Bookends has a huge card selection for all occasions, along with Main Street Marketplace and Gallery in the attached barn. 100% solar, Main Street Bookends of Warner is building your community one book at a time. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle, I'm Abby Peel. For the last two weeks, we've heard about the need for transportation in our area to secure jobs. Let's now hear how you can get involved. Hi, ladies. Thank you, Abby. We'd like to introduce you to some people this morning that are here from a new program called Cars for Cure Surge. 
Here we have Terry Bingham from CREM, Kearsarge Regional Ecumenical Ministries, and we have Terry Matson from KNP, Kearsarge Neighborhood Partners, and we'd like to tell you about this new joint effort. Terry, there's two ways that the public can get involved with Cars for Kearsarge. One is by contributing a cash donation to the cause, and the other is by gifting a car. Can you tell us how someone would go about gifting a car to a neighbor in need? Absolutely. This is, this is actually one of the most exciting parts of this program, and we have great hopes for it, actually, for helping many of, of the people in our area that may be in need. Um, we are trying to get the word out now that if there's anybody that has a functional vehicle that they're not using, this is a great opportunity to be able to donate it, to, excuse me, to gift it to somebody uh, in our area. In addition... Back instead of, you kind of... Oh, I did. Just pick it up and say, one of the ways is to gift it. Pick it up there. Oh, okay. Um, one of the ways is to gift it to our program. For, for another neighbor in need. In addition, there may be people who aren't driving anymore or may have a household where they're trying to reduce the number of vehicles that they have. This is another opportunity that they can have to gift a vehicle to somebody in the local community. And gifting and keeping the cars in our area right here is a really wonderful benefit. You know it's going to somebody in your own area rather than donating it to a more national organization. Uh, we have also partnered with some local garages and all the gifted cars that we may receive will be checked out by one of our local partners and they will determine whether it is a safe and reliable vehicle for a new owner. So if anybody knows of anybody who might have a car to a vehicle, a car, truck, any type of vehicle like that, that they would want to gift to this program, please go to the Kearsarge Neighborhood Partners website or give them a call. I do need to point out one other thing though. Um, since the vehicles are being, that are gifted are being directly given to the new person, the new owner, there will not be a way to value that as a donation. As Terry had mentioned, if you gift a car, you're not able to deduct that from your taxes. However, if you make a cash donation, you are able to deduct that from your taxes. It is a tax deductible. And Terry, how does Cars for Cure Surge use the money that's raised by donations? That's a great point, and I really believe that um, there are so many generous people out there that will contribute to this program and the way that we're going to utilize the money is to be able to uh, use it for car repairs for this program and also to purchase if we don't have enough cars gifted we'll have to purchase some cars some used cars and, and be able to enable our neighbors to be able to take advantage of that the other thing that I want to mention is that uh, there are so many help wanted signs out there and so if you can gift a car, that the great thing about it is that you're really helping the community in a lot of ways because you're, you might be helping somebody get a car so that they can take one of those jobs and the, that, are, that are help wanted um, all over our community. So there's a ripple effect with this program and we hope to see it come to reality. Thank you, Terry and Terry, for letting us know about Cars for Kearsarge. This is not only a new venture for uh, CREM and for KNP, but it's a partnership that involves the community. They're a very necessary part of the success of the Cars for Kearsarge program. So we invite all of you to join us as we help pave the road to independence for folks in our area that are in need of transportation. Please, if you or someone you know has a functional car or a truck that they would be willing to donate or sell at a significantly reduced discount, please email for more information about how that vehicle could be transferred to a person in need of transportation in the Kearsarge region. Also, you can go to knpnh.org to make a cash donation to Cars for Kearsarge to help towards the repairs and the purchase of reliable used cars. Please spread the word and encourage your friends and family to participate in this exciting new community partnership to help our neighbors get back on the road to independence.
What a noble effort. There must be some way that you can help. Please contact them with your support. When we return, Tanya Wilkie, the first professional services director of the Lake Sunapee Region VNA and Hospice, will tell us more about those startup years. Now these words from some of the good folks that make your Yankee Chronicle possible. At HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, we sell, install, tune, and repair heating and cooling systems and deliver your fuel oil and propane. But we're much more. HR Clough installs water conditioning systems to purify your water and add life to your hot water heating system. Now is the perfect time for one of our expert staff to evaluate your needs. For a free estimate, call HR Clough today. Over four generations of local ownership and dependable service. Warner's Main Street Bookends has been your community bookstore since 1998 and voted Yankee Magazine's Editor's Pick Must See Bookstore. Bookends is a full service store offering a huge selection of current fiction and nonfiction with children's book selection, toys, and games. Bookends has a huge card selection for all occasions, along with Main Street Marketplace and Gallery in the attached barn. 100% solar, Main Street Bookends of Warner is building your community one book at a time. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm Abby Peel, your host. The Lake Sunapee Region VNA and Hospice celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2020. As part of that celebration, we have been bringing you history segments. Today, Tanya Wilkie, an early caregiver, continues her story. Hi, Tanya. Uh, Medicare required endless paperwork. And it was a very tedious task to complete because we didn't have computers back then. So that was a huge struggle. But I think um, probably one of the other biggest challenges we faced um, was the fact that we were all working women um, with children and had a professional career. And it was always a balancing act between being home, caring for kids, and um, you know, assuming our duties um, as professional nurses. In 1980, Robin Gallup and I had, had an idea ahead of its time, and we decided um, to be co-directors. So we were the administrator and the directors, co-directors, and we led the agency for 10 years, um, job sharing. Um, the role of, 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 of co-directors um, and it worked out wonderfully well for us. Without the community, the VNA would not be here today. Uh, the towns appropriated money for indigent care, donors large and small gave money to support our operating budget, Volunteers staffed our clinics. Um, we, the medical staff um, was wonderful. Um, people like Dr. Jack Kirk, Dr. Don Eberly, Dr. Stephen Jordan, um, they were our champions and our cheerleaders and clearly um, the staff um, of the VNA today and yesterday, um, we were, the staff is truly what makes the VNA so special. What's so special about the VNA? The special people that work there for sure. And, um, you know, it's, it's always been the VNA's greatest asset and greatest resource that they have are the competent, caring professionals. Um, that lived in the communities um, that we served and cared about the people um, that, that they were seeing. One of my favorite memories uh, that I can share uh, was our first well child clinic down in Warner. It was held at the Community Action Program and it was before HIPAA, thank goodness, uh, because we hung up to create privacy for Dr. Carl Cooley, who was our pediatrician, 
we took bed sheets and hung them up with clothes pins uh, to create these little you know um, areas for him to examine the children we had Sonia Jacobson who was a wonderful woman from New London who volunteered her time doing lead testing and checking children for anemia Becky Corser from Warner was in charge of the community action program and she was just terrific in helping families get additional services um, so those rural health clinics were definitely an idea uh, ahead of their time um, you know I would like to um, just say to the community um, everyone out there thank you for your support of the VNA throughout the past 50 years. You are the leaders that served on our board. Um, you are the stewards who volunteered on all of our committees. You are the donors that supported our operating budget year after year. And you are the good doers who would help at Thanksgiving time with Thanksgiving baskets and adopting families at Christmas time. You are the community members that has made the VNA what it is today. There's no place like home. <laughs> Care. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Tanya, for your early efforts. When we return, we'll be joined by Ben Barton here at our host location for a lesson on why it's better to insure locally. But first, let's introduce you to those supporters of your Yankee Chronicle. Simple solutions in a challenging world. Let Echo Communications make your life simpler. From the beginning, creating design through the commercial print process and ending with custom mailing, all easily coordinated in one place. Echo Communications provides simple solutions in a challenging world. One place, many solutions. Learn more at echocominc.com. There's a big difference between a big box store and a LaValle Middleton building supply. When you're a local store, you need to compete with the bigger chains. So we've combined our purchasing power with over 300 independent lumberyard and home centers, and we've passed those savings on to you. Our customers have grown up with our stores, and now their kids are shopping here with our kids. We have everything you need for any home improvement project you can think of. And the possibilities are endless. If we had a motto, it would be neighbors helping neighbors build a community. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle, our second week here at Barton Insurance Agency here in New London. And I'm now joined by Ben Barton himself. Hi, Ben. Hello, Abby. Thank you for being our host these last two weeks. Happy to have you here. It's been really fun. Let's talk, we talked last week about your history of being a long time New London resident and in the area and having a business here now. But let's now get down to the nitty gritty on, on why we're here. Talk about um, buying insurance locally, the benefits of buying insurance locally versus just going online and plugging it in with some, you know, the bigger companies? Well, I think it's clearer than ever uh, the differential between the direct writers in your national companies mm -hmm. versus your local uh, independent agency, uh, whereby we represent many companies uh, that are competitive in the marketplace. Yep. And we do the shopping for you. Which is huge. You, and the consumer himself or herself does not know what they need. They're looking for the lowest price. I get it. Yep. We yep. are looking for the lowest price. Sure. But we will find the lowest price based upon the market, based upon your characteristics of your auto and your home and what you qualify for. Yep. And we recommend the coverages that you should have come claim time because, you know, claims do happen. Yes. And uh, when that happens, you want to be assured that the coverage is there for you. And that's what we're there to advocate. And insurance is there exactly for, it's not just to buy it and keep paying for it. You welcome people who say, I need to submit a claim. What you just said was so important because <laughs> it's not all the same. Right. The coverages are not, uh, if you're looking at the bottom line dollar sign, you're probably getting a basic coverage part. And you're not going to know the difference because the insurance language is very unique. And you, we're not expecting you to be an insurance expert. We will give you the professional advice you need to make sure the 
the policies rounded out from the particular exposures that you have. Sure. That's what the value is of the agent bringing that value to the table. Sure. And of course, we can shop it for the best price of those companies we represent uh, that are trying to trying to, to to have the product that matches your needs. Yep. But if you take seven seven companies, you're going to have seven different rates. Right. So, is the best thing to do for our viewers who are watching and saying, sure. "I need." homeowner's insurance or an auto insurance policy to call you and say, here's what I have, and you will go and do the work for them. It's, it's little on that part, and, and you have, you're stuck with the homework. You certainly can call the office. You're welcome to do that, but you can also, at the convenience of your schedule, go yes. online to <gasps> nhins.com and request a quote. If you fill that information in, we will get the, the information, of course, electronically. Yep. And we will, if you give us your contact information, we will then reach out to you and finish the process. So if you're up in the middle of the night, you can fill out the form and you'll get it when you come in. Knock in yourself <laughs> out. Just have a great time. It's insurance at uh, 11 o'clock. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm available, 748-0528. But Ooh. I just, uh, not often, not at 11 o'clock, not, not now. 1030. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> so, uh, and, and talk about the relationship that you have with your clients. You just told me before we started that um, you've sent out a big mailing recently. You like to stay in touch with the people that you work for. We hope that we're not just uh, buy, buy the product and uh, see you later. We like to think that uh, we stay in touch after the sale. Sure. We do that. We don't like to think that we actually do it. Yep. And it's re renewal reviews. Things change. I do recommend that if things are changing in your situation, that you call us and let us know. Yes, that'd be helpful, be right? Be proactive because <laughs> so, we can't ensure what we don't know about. Yes. But yes, we do have renewal reviews. Yes, we reach out with tidbits of what is happening in the in the marketplace yep. so that not just trying to bring a sale to you we're not trying to sell you every every second sure we like to bring value to the table sure and you'll you'll receive that through constant contact email mailings that we think are appropriate at different times we don't inundate you however with information and for someone watching too it'd be good to touch upon before i let you go on the different services you offer personal and business we're getting into snowmobile right. season so if you have a swanky new snowmobile you might want that insured those are all things you could do we do all of those things in the personal lines market auto home umbrella recreational vehicles like you say now life is a new new uh, uh discount that's available we've, we've, i've sold life insurance for 35 years but they've the two have always been separate lines of business. Okay. But now you have the opportunity with two of our carriers, Concord Group and Patriot, to combine home, auto, and life and get Ooh. discounts across the board. Okay. So we, we are always looking for discounts. That's the message for you out there. Yes. That we're looking for discounts and the best uh, match for your circumstances. Interesting. And so uh, keep us in mind for that if that need is, is apparent. Yeah. But I want to touch upon the comfort zone. Yes. No. We will be competitive with the direct writers when we have the ability to package your account. They call it account credits or bundling. You've heard that on other radio commercials. Bundling your account. We do that. I've done that for many, many years because the companies want to control all lines of business. Mm -hmm. there's, there's less error involved in that for us because if we don't control the auto where we have the home, we, we can't give you advice of course. On, on how to make sure that the circumstances are matching up with the, with the coverage. Of course. So we want to be able to control those through the bundling effect with discounts. And my account managers, I want to mention my account managers. Okay. Heidi, Danielle, Cindy, Marie, Ellen. They are excellent professionals and licensed and able to give you the attention to your account that you need. And you'll call them by name and they'll call you by name if you call us. That's huge. They do know you want, who you do are. Do you want to wait and, and give your policy number? I just, I just want you to know that this is a personal relationship business, but it's also, uh, uh, we can compete with anybody. That's amazing. Well, Ben Barton of Barton Insurance Agency and all of your other uh, wonderful employees as well too. Uh, thank you so much for being a host the last two weeks and teaching me a lot. Good. I'm glad great. you learned something. That's Thank great. you so much. Thank you, Abby. What an informative two weeks we have had here on location at Barton Insurance Agency. Remember, before going online, make sure you are not selling yourself short and our community, but buying on the web when you can get what you need right here. Join us next week for another Yankee Chronicle presented by the First Baptist Church in New London to hear about their mission in our community. 
Don't miss our live football game of the week at YCNnow.com with replays on WYCX on Sundays and Mondays at noon and 5 p.m. Saturday afternoon, we'll be on the air live at 1.52 as the Lebanon travels down I-89 to Bow. Our full schedule can be found on our website, YCNnow.com. Check out other outside television programs of original shows featuring the most exciting extreme sports from rock climbing, biking, water sports, and of course, skiing. I'm Abby Peel. Join us next week at this same time for another edition of Your Yankee Chronicle. Stay safe, everyone.